Hope everyone's had a good Monday. <laughs> Here we go. go. Oh, I was sweating there. I've never done this before. Oh. <laughs> I, I'd never done it from this end. We normally were running. I was like, geez, were, how do I get in there? But anyway, we're live. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to take over. So um, thank you. And thanks to Melbourne Footy Club uh, for having me on. Guys, my name is uh, Nick Walsh. I'm, I'm the program manager for Tackle Your Feelings. Uh, Tackle Your Feelings is a community initiative uh, brought to you by Zurich Insurance, Zurich's foundation back in Switzerland, who are ma major sponsors of Melbourne Footy Club the AFL Coaches Association and the AFL Players Association. So there's a lot of weight behind this and it's great to have some of the players and coaches on board driving this initiative. Essentially what we do is we go around all the community clubs and educate them on mental health education and, and essentially give coaches the tools to understand, recognise and manage signs of mental health. And, and I know Paxi's been across the programme for a while now and the Mal Melbourne Footy Club uh, both the men's and women's teams have been supportive of it. So, uh, Paxi, I'm thrilled to be on and thrilled to have you. Um, this is our, this is our second um, Instagram live session. Let's call it. Uh, we still have to meet up for a coffee in public, but obviously, lockdown and different things got in our way, and you guys are back to training now. So, uh, thanks for having me on. And how are you? How are you keeping? Yeah, no worries, man. Welcome. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a funny old twelve months, but it's nice to have footy footy back finally, and um, yeah, nice to get out there on the weekend and have our first proper hit out um, and interstate too. So getting on a plane was a little bit weird, and um, but yeah, nice nice to get out of Victoria and into some warmth and um, yeah, play a game of footy. Yeah, that, that talked to me at the weekend. Like it, it was so bizarre. Like it was a what fourteen, fifteen hour turnaround, like airport to airport and home. But then they didn't allow for the probably hour of travel outside of that as well. So it was probably a sixteen hour turnaround for you, wasn't it? Essentially, Melbourne Footy Club, the uh, the AFLW team, they are doing this great initiative called Goals for Good. Um, basically, it is an initiative where your co-principal partner, Zurich Insurance, and us, Tackle Your Feelings, have joined together with the footy club to essentially give back to the community. Each time any of the Melbourne footy, Cl footy club girls kick a goal in any game this AFLW season, a junior footy club will receive a, a coaching pack valued at about three bucks. So, Paxi, I was asking you, what was your club of choice and why did you choose them? Um, so I chose the Darabin Falcons, um, one of their junior teams. Um, Darabin's where I um, began my VFL um, footy and they've given me a lot um, and helped develop me as um, a person and, and a footy player. So I just wanted to give back to them and, um, yeah, hopefully get a, get a pack to them. Excellent. Excellent. And was there any, you know, coaches during your time, whether it was junior footy or coming up the ranks that, you know, really stood out for you. And, you know, I know for me, when I was playing Gaelic footy back home and stuff, it was a couple, you know, there was one or two coaches that really I looked up to and aspired to. And, you know, what about you in your coach or your playing pathway? Yeah, oh, well, one of, one of them, um, you know, earlier on that stands out is um, my first coach at, at the Laylor Bloods when I first um, started footy back when I was 16. Um, Pete, he was just a good people person and um, I think brought everyone together really well and um, made it a nice environment and an inclusive environment to be to be a part of. So it was a good, I guess, um, footy, first footy experience for me. And, yeah, that's, I guess that's something that stuck with me. You know, footy for me is, has been always about the people I've been around and relationships and um, being part of a, an inclusive and friendly, I guess, community in some way where you just... What I was just saying before we broke up was um, anyone listening, any junior footy clubs that are listening out there, they can nominate their junior footy club for a Goals for Good initiative by going to melbournefc.com.au forward slash Goals for Good and explain why your team would be a deserving winner. Um, entries close, I think, Feb 5th. Uh, which is this Friday because it's February first already. Um, so I'm pinching the punch first day of the month, by the way. <laughs> um, so it's a terrific initiative. Just want to keep encouraging you guys to keep kicking goals. Um, 
Yeah, so it's absolutely tremendous. What's the plan for the week for you guys training? Uh, yeah, yeah. So this week we're, we're back at training tomorrow. Tuesday and Thursday we'll train. Um, and, yeah, just get ready for Saturday's um, game against the Tigers at home out of Casey, uh, Saturday afternoon, 5.10. Um, it's actually Pride, Pride round too. So, um, yeah, be, be a good one. Okay, well, I'll go out there on this weekend. I'll stand behind the goals and make sure it all slots through for the six. <laughs> and I, I'm expecting to see some from you this weekend, Karen, as well. Yeah, you can stand. Like, it'll be actually helpful if you stand behind the goals. Something to aim to. We'll kick it straight to you. That'd be good. Yeah, okay. No worries. Uh, and often I pop down and see you guys training, and it's great to see so many um, girls on the track out there. And, you know, your coaching staff are doing an amazing job. And uh, you were so supportive of all the Irish girls as well when they were in quarantine, you know, looking at all the Instagram stuff and everything like that that was going on. So such an inclusive club, and it's terrific that it's probably around this weekend as well for you girls as well down there. So it's absolutely terrific. So it's on a Casey this weekend, this Saturday. So get down. Um, you still have to get tickets, by the way. So get tickets because you can't just rock up anymore with COVID and everything like that. So make sure you get your tickets. And if there's any junior footy clubs out there, jump on to melbournefc.com.au forward slash goals for good. Um, explain why your team wants to enter and hopefully you get a footy pack uh, delivered on behalf of Zurich Insurance.